Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to make a school background design that you have seen in the thumbnail so let's get started first of all select the rectangle tool and draw a shape of the size of your work area okay once that's done select the eyedropper tool and apply this uh, dark blue color to it and now select this uh, light blue color and select the mesh tool without touching or clicking anywhere else just click once in the dark blue work area and a gradient like this will be created between the two colors okay now we are going to select the brush tool double click on the brush tool icon and its panel will pop up make sure its smoothness is all the way or it's full 100% click ok and make two wavy lines like this in the work area although you can make any sort of lines and just making simple lines the way I like it you do not have to exactly follow what I'm doing okay once this this is done select the selection tool and select these two lines and now change the brush type to basic and also change the stroke type to this convex type which means it's uh, thick in the middle and narrow at the ends change the brush stroke size to 10 or 14 okay change its uh, stroke color also to white now we are going to go to object and expand the appearance of this shape okay now now let's uh, go to effects and select the outer grow effect from stylize make sure that the mood is normal and the color is white the opacity level should be 100% and the blur to be 12 and click ok a glow like this will be applied to it ok now let's uh, select the pen tool and we are going to make some more lines make lines like these or whatever sort of lines that you guys like make sure they are not sharp turns ok now we are going to turn off its fill color first of all and turn on the stroke color and turn the stroke color to white make another line and make sure these lines intersect at some point let's make two more lines up here You do not have to follow exactly how I am doing it uh, and uh, of course experimentation needs to be done and I would love to see what sort of design that you guys come up with so please do experiment with it. Now select these lines and go to blend mode and make a blend between them. Now go back to the blend options. And select the blend option that says specify steps and change the steps number to 20 and a shape like this will be formed between them do the same steps for the bottom two lines object blend and make you know the routine If you are wondering how I got to this 20 number, it's just trial and error. You can increase and decrease for different looks. You are not stuck with this number. Okay, now select both of the shapes and go to the transparency panel and change the mood from normal to overlay. And it should give you a look like this. Beautiful look. Okay, the last step of our simple background design is like another rectangle just the size of the previous one that covers the whole area let's select all of the shapes now and right click on it 
and make a clipping mask and our simple and yet elegant background design is ready i hope you guys can introduce a lot of variety into these designs so in the end i would like to thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and share the video thanks and goodbye for now